doing a haul slash tutorial for you guys today. I got an order in from artbeads.com, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got. First thing I got was this ring mandrel. Some sterling silver wire. This is 22 gauge. I got some wire cutters and three gorgeous um, silver plated Swarovski crystals. They look like this. To make this ring, you need a few other tools as well. I have these just at home uh, some chain nose pliers and a ruler. Alright, let's get started. onto the ring mandrel and I'll show you what size you are like that so mine's measuring at a four and when we're making the ring we always make it one size larger so I'm going to put mine at the five there next you want to take your wire um, and then cut I would say add 10 to the size of your ring so mine was a four so I'm going to add 10 and then cut about 14 inches and I've already cut my wire and I want to just show you guys I have all of this left so a half trans gives you a lot of wire you can make a lot of rings from this so the next thing you want to do is take your wire and just kind of like run your hands through it I've been kind of playing with mine so it's a little bit mangled but your piece should probably look a lot nicer we're just going to kind of warm the wire with our hands and then take your ring mandrel and you just want to center the wire on uh, your side. So for me, it's going to be a five. Just try and get the wire even on both sides. Like that. Now what we're going to do is wrap one side of the wire around one way and then the other side of the wire around the other way. And you just want to try and keep your attention as tight as possible when you're doing this. So let me show you. There's one. I'm going to do it one more time on the top. This is pulling it tight. And now we'll do two on the bottom as well. And what you should end up with is we have four on the back right now. One, two, three, four. Next thing you want to do now is take your beads and we're going to put them on. All right. Now these beads, they have <coughs> a hole on the left and right side. And then of course they go through. So I'm going to put from the left side of um, my wire. I'm going to string it through the top portion of this bead. I have three to add. Once your beads are all strung on the top portion, you'll take the right side of your wire and string it through the bottom portion of the bead. Alright, so when they're all strung through, that's what it's going to look like. And now we're just going to fix up the ring. 